Hey guys, coming to you from Akihabara once again, and once again I will be reviewing Yoamushi Pedal, this time Season 3. Last time I finished off Season 2, I thought that it ended on a very strong note, and because of that I wasn't sure if I would pick up the new season so quickly, especially since I saw that it got lower grades than Seasons 1 and 2 on many of the aggregation sites. Um, I kind of understand where they're coming from, but on the other hand, I kind of do like what they did with this season. This season is basically a rebuilding season. Uh, there's no way it was going to be as exciting as Season 2, especially the end of the intra-high race. But I think that rebuilding in sports is generally very interesting. It's something that I had to go through myself when I was in high school, when really talented seniors leave. How do you fill in those holes and become competitive again? And... Um, you know, it's interesting to see it here as well, seeing some of the new personality types, seeing characters who didn't make the cut last season on various teams actually, uh, stepping up and being able to fill those roles, seeing people who were on the team but not necessarily uh, superstar level stepping up and becoming the team's new star. Uh, that's really interesting to see. And uh, we do get to see a lot of new character types this season. One thing that I criticized seasons one and two for was having a lot of characters who basically exhibit the same character traits. You get more variety this season. Now, some of the negative points from this season is that uh, there's a lot of power level inconsistency, and there had always been, kind of, especially between the three main teams and everyone else. Like, everyone else basically sucks. There are only three teams that matter. This time, however, um, you're seeing some of the characters who kind of step up from not being so good in the previous seasons suddenly becoming really good without much explanation behind it or without much plausible explanation behind it. And uh, especially when you're going up against uh, Hakune, where every single character is basically considered to be an All Japan level ace. Here you have uh, four carryovers from last season in Sohoku, but the two new guys, they don't seem to be All Japan level. However, somehow or another, they are able to compete on even terms almost with Hakune. So once again, power levels are kind of inconsistent there. Don't like that in my shonen, don't like that in my sports, but to some extent I guess it's necessary if you want to make Sohoku be the champion again, which is kind of the inevitable conclusion, I suppose. And uh, other than that, I would say it's hard to grade this season just by itself because it does get into the inter-high competition and it is going to carry over into season four, so I'll give the show another review when that's all said and done, probably from Akihabara once again as I ride my bicycle back over here.